Hi, I'm Chris Steele from FCKL and this is Little League Skill School brought to you by Decathlon. Today we are going to look at two skills that you can practice at home. The first one is toe taps and the second one will be sole taps. The first exercise we're going to do is our toe taps. So the first thing we need to do, we need to involve our feet nice and light. The second thing that we're going to do is we're going to be using the inside of our foot, the part that we normally pass the ball with, we're going to turn it and I'm going to pass the ball to myself. So light on the balls of my feet and I'm just going to pass the ball side to side, get yourself into a rhythm and then see how quickly you are able to do this. When you get a bit more comfortable with doing that and you get a good speed and rhythm, you can start to move forwards and backwards with the ball. So we're touching the ball just a little bit forwards each time or we're trying to move the ball backwards a little bit each time. Have a go at that. as you're moving forward. One, when you're passing the ball to yourself, do not have your foot square on it. It needs to be forward a little bit so you can push the ball in front of yourself. When you're coming backwards, you close your foot a little bit so you can move the ball backwards. The second tip for this is making sure that we're not looking directly at the ball, we're looking just in front of the ball so we can see the ground and the ball. This will also help you in game situations. The second exercise that we're going to do today is sole taps. So again, just like with toe taps, I need you to be on the ball of your feet. And we're going to start with one foot on top of the ball. When you want, change. Get yourself into a bit of a rhythm so that you keep changing. And when you get comfortable, you keep changing at your own pace. Make sure that we're working our arms as well. And when you get into a good rhythm and when you get good and comfortable, you can start moving the ball forwards. Just like with the toe taps, then we can start going backwards, dragging the ball with our sole. And then when you get really comfortable and want to challenge yourself, how quickly can you do the sole taps? Now we're going to put those two things together. So between the orange markers, we're going to do our toe taps. Right? As quick as we can, getting as many touches. When I get to the next set of orange cones, we're going to then change to our sole taps. When I get to the end, I'm going to work backwards. And then when I get back to the orange markers, I'm going to work backwards through the cones. So can we put our toe taps and sole taps together get comfortable moving forwards and backwards. As many touches as possible. Sole taps forward, sole taps backwards, and then toe taps back to the beginning. Can you try that? skills together is by doing a combination. So we're going to do toe tap, toe tap, sole tap, sole tap. We're going to try and put that into a rhythm and get as fast as we can. So I'm going to start left foot, toe, toe, sole, sole. Can I do that quicker? Can I keep going quicker and quicker, challenging myself to get as many touches as possible in 10, 30 and 60 seconds. Right, that's all.